Hey guys, I want to show you today how I make a custom finial for the top of a uh, capped rollerball or fountain pen. And today I'm going to be using the uh, Junior Series, the Junior Gent 2 um, cap. This is a black titanium. And I'm going to remove the uh, finial insert here and make my own. I want to show you guys how I do that. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is to drill a hole in a board that will accommodate for the outside of the cap finial to sit in there, uh, but that's big enough so that the insert can be pressed out and fall into that cavity. So I drilled a hole uh, in this piece of wood to do just that. And uh, I typically put a little piece of paper towel over the hole just to protect the plating, the finish on the piece. Set it in there. I grab a punch. Uh, this is a center punch from my uh, Harbor Freight set, good $10 deal there. And you'll see inside of there, I'm not sure if you can see, there's a little divot where the insert comes through and you'll just wanna get that with the punch. So I set it in, the hole that I drilled out, put the punch there and give it a tap. Sometimes they come easily, sometimes not so much. And there we did it. So the little insert piece here is out and we'll be getting rid of that. And now we have this little piece here with the hole in the uh, insert in it. That's what we'll be turning a custom finial to match. So I have a pen blank here. This is a piece of walnut chucked up in my Nova G3 with my pens plus jaws that I also use for drilling out pen blanks, so real convenient. Just have a pen blank size piece of wood in here, three quarters of an inch. You can even use something small because we're going to turn it way down. And to get the size right for the finial, we're not going to use calipers or anything else. We're just going to use the actual piece of the pen, the, the cap finial part that we had punched the piece out of. We're just going to use that to size up the piece that we need for our custom turn finial. And we're just going to put it up against here and see uh, when it fits. Just turning kind of a little bit at a time. I already have it down here uh, fairly close. And I'm just going to keep coming in with my little parting tool. And I'm going to take a little bit off. Stop the lathe and check it. And just kind of inch up on it. One more test fit, and I have it just right, nice and snug in there, and it fits well. So I'm going to come back now and come in behind. Where I'm going to part it off, and then you can decide how far you want it to stick out if you want it to kind of. You round it up or just set flat flush, it's really up to you uh, what you want to do at that point. I'm going to leave mine coming out just a little bit and I'm going to bevel the edge here on this particular one a little bit. Try to round it up. And that's the basics of it. We're just going to give it a little, little bit of sanding and a little bit of finish. Now once you have your finish on, it's where you want it, it's polished up, then we need to go ahead and get this little finial insert off of the lathe. Um, so I'm gonna start by parting it down quite a bit more. Now some people like to try to part things off and sort of catch them in their hand. That's pretty tough with the size of this uh, little guy here. So what I do with these is to take a hacksaw blade and uh, I finish it off then with this with the lathe off. Some people mess around with it with the lathe on. I just prefer to do it, to do it this way. 
Uh, also, there's a couple other choices. Because there's a little hole here in the middle of this finial cap, you can actually leave a little bit of the center piece there to fit down in there if you want to, uh, or you can take it right off. It's really up, it's really up to you. It'll work either way, so long as the, uh, the little piece that's left in there isn't too thick for that hole. So I give that a little cut there and a little twist. And there it goes, flying, of course just like I didn't want it to do. And there we go. There's our little finial insert for this pen. And make sure it fits again. And there it is. Very nice custom touch. Now finally, there's a couple choices that you have to make as you put this together. You can either assemble the cap of the pen together first and then glue the finial insert on, or you can do it like I'm gonna do first. If you do it first, just be really careful when you press the parts together, because if you don't, you could either mar or even break the finial insert that you made. So just be really careful pressing it together. If you do it this way, you can use either CA glue or epoxy. I'm gonna use just a little bit of two-part epoxy to glue this finial in. And here we go, our finished pen. This one is antler and has a black walnut finial fitted to it. So you can certainly make it out of the same material normally as the pen or you can do it whatever you want. But hopefully that helps you and you can go ahead and give it a try yourself. Let me know how it turns out. And if you have any questions, I appreciate it and have a great day.